Today we're going to be discussing the citation that the Illinois Department of Public Health recently issued to Seminary Manor Nursing Home in Galesburg after a resident there suffered a fatal brain bleed in a fall from bed. My name is Barry Doyle. I'm a lawyer in Skokie practicing nursing home abuse and neglect work throughout the state of Illinois. I'm also the author of Built to Fail, a free report available for download from my website, which spells out how the nursing home business model inevitably produces unnecessary injuries and deaths for nursing home residents. When a resident is assessed as a fall risk, a fall prevention care plan must be put into place and implemented on a day-to-day, -day, shift to shift basis. One of the common interventions or steps that's taken as a fall prevention measure is lowering uh, the bed. Lowering the bed by itself it isn't uh, necessarily a true fall prevention measure. However, it does prevent injuries when residents fall from the bed simply by reducing the height from which a resident can fall. The resident who was involved in this particular incident was admitted as a rehab patient uh, following a, uh, an admission to a hospital. During the six weeks that the resident was in the facility, uh, he suffered four separate falls. Um, two of which were, were not uh, ones that caused significant injury. There was one that caused a laceration and some broken teeth, but unfortunately the fourth fall turned out to be a fatal fall. When the, the last fall occurred, the uh, resident um, had some x-rays ordered. A portable x-ray uh, service was brought in to do the x-rays. Um, when the technician arrived, an aide accompanied the technician to the room. The bed was raised so that the technician could get the, the work done. Um, while the x-rays were underway, a call light went off. The aide asked the technician if it would be okay to leave. Uh, he said yes, and the aide went to go help other residents. Uh, after the technician was finished doing the, the x-rays, he uh, couldn't figure out how it was to uh, lower the position of the bed, so he uh, uh, put away his equipment and uh, left the facility telling staff on, on his way out that uh, he was done doing the x-rays. When uh, Shortly after the technician left, the resident's roommate called out for help. When the staff responded to the call for help, they found the resident on the floor uh, bleeding from a head wound. The resident was sent to the hospital where a CT scan showed that the resident had a brain bleed. Unfortunately for the resident, this turned out to be a fatal brain bleed and the resident passed away uh, due to uh, uh, the, the injuries sustained in this fall. Now there are a couple of issues that are important in this particular incident from a standpoint of a nursing home abuse and neglect case. First is that there was a violation of the care plan and that the resident was left in a bed in a raised, in a raised position. Lowering the, the resident's bed was intended specifically to pre prevent just this kind, kind of injury. And even though uh, it was only a short period of, of time where the resident was left in bed in a raised position, this uh, situation really underlines the necessity of implementing care plans on a day-to-day, on -day, shift to shift basis that violations of a care plan can, can and do result in significant injuries. The other uh, issue that is important in this is the uh, role of the x-ray technician in leaving the resident in this position unattended. Um, obviously the, res the technician was aware when the, uh, he came into the room that, re that the resident's bed was in a, in a low position. Um, uh, he tried to lower the, re the resident down into a lower position before leaving, but in the end left the resident in this uh, vulnerable raised position, which ultimately led to this resident's fall and sadly this re resident's death. I hope you found this interesting. If you have any questions regarding this or any other nursing home abuse and neglect issue, please feel free to reach out to us. Our number is 312-263-1080 or we can be reached on the internet at www.accidentlawillinois.com. Thank you for watching.